Well, hello, everyone, and well, welcome once again to our next code on ring, the Ring of Destiny. This is an active month. I think we have we have three code on rings active. So, the Ring of Destiny is um, brought to you by the twelfth letter of the Hebrew alphabet, also known as Lamed. And this Ring of Destiny has two gene keys: gene keys thirty four and forty three. The 43rd gene key is already active from November 11th through the 16th. And then the 34 will come along November 22nd to the 27th. Okay, so let's take a look at Lamed. All righty. Let me move this over for me. So Lamed is a very unique letter in the Hebrew alphabet. In the Hebrew alphabet, when you're writing these letters, there is a, 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 an invisible line that none of the letters are supposed to go above when written, except Lamed. Lamed is the only letter that rises above or extends above this invisible line, this little symbol right here. And that little symbol is called the tower in the air, and it represents our desire to evolve, to keep learning, to expand, to grow and learn. So it represents our hopes and aspirations to one day reunite with the divine. So it is also the power to ascend through self-realization. And it and the whole letter, the whole, everything that this letter represents is complete liberation from the ego. And it represents our highest Buddhic body. Um, Lamed is a creative and physical letter, which means it is a connector between the higher and lower realms with bringing the higher realms into the lower world of action. Some of the words associated with Lamed are absorption, expansion, love, and learning. And in regards to love, if you see, it's a very unique letter. See how it's shaped like this. Perhaps it might remind you of something. Think about the human heart. It represents like half of the human heart. If you were to put your palm around the part of your heart, that's what it would look like. So, so number 12 represents the human heart. Let's see, what else do I wanna say? Lamed, um, like its previous letter, uh, number 11, calf, is, in ex is exactly in the middle of the alphabet. So it too represents balance, but um, it represents, of course, balance between the mind and the heart, as well as our balance of our lower instinctual body, our sacral body. And so it also represents, of course, you know, our hopes that one day, eventually, the mind and heart are working together with, of course, the heart in the leading efficient leading position of authority. Okay, I think we'll stop share now. Am I back? <laughs> I can see myself. Okay, so in relation to this uh, ring of destiny, this ring of, of, of destiny represents these two genes, gene keys represents the two forces of evolution, of course, and involution. And the 34th gene key represents, is all about this human urge to evolve. Like we have this constant thing, let's keep growing and learning and evolve. And that of course is represented by the top of the men, the tower in the air. And um, sometimes, however, we do see that this urge to evolve and to bring spirit into matter, we often see people on the spiritual journey kind of getting uh, the cart before the horse. And we, we, we see many people trying to do this, doing things of great heart action, or they think it's heart action, but they're doing this before the ego has been completely ob obliterated, or at least much of it has. And the mind and the lower instincts are still in the lead position. And so they're, they're trying to do this before they're fully self-realized. And, you know, ego is still in control and it makes a mess of things. 
So I'm telling you this because that tower in the air also represents the false aspirations of the ego, the trouble that we can get in when the ego is in control and it thinks it's aspiring to great heights, but still the mind and the lower instincts are, are in control and the heart hasn't fully awakened because it hasn't fully realized absolute reality through self-realization. Okay, um, so 34 is all about evolution and the 43rd gene key is all about representing, oh, I said this, uh, or maybe I didn't, I can't remember, sorry, the divine urge to involve, to bring spirit into matter. And of course, that's all the ahas and epiphanies and great ideas. So this ring represents the fusion and the balance of the higher and lower planes working together from the human heart. And just a side note, this ring, if you're looking at the ring, it's correlated with the sacral plexus, which is lower, and the inner ear. And you're thinking, well, this Hebrew letter is all about the heart. Well, you have to be able, first of all, in order to receive those higher inspirations and ahas and epiphanies, you have to have the inner ear, you have to have the inner hearing to receive those messages. And then those messages are poured into the heart where the heart interprets the message and knows how, how to, what to do next with it. And so when the heart deciphers the message, then of course it delivers the message into the um, solar plexus into the belly for action. So that's how the, all those come together in case you were asking. <laughs> all right, so this number 12 also relates to uh, the 12 labors of Hercules uh, or the, these are the 12 lab labors of the spiritual initiate or the, the 12 uh, zodiacal zodiac archetypes. So. Um, and I think, for example, the 12 labors, one, I think the first one is all about courage. You have to have strength, courage, and skill to start this spiritual journey. And I think the next labor was all about freeing yourself from desire. So you can see how these 12 labors represent kind of some of the 12 initiations you're going to go through, 12 or more, uh, on this spiritual journey. And of course, I, I think it's said that the first nine labors are into the descent of hell. <laughs> and for any of us on the spiritual journey, we know exactly what that's like. So Lamed also represents this uh, before ascending up that we have to descend into the hell, the spheres of hell before, of course, that we can ascend. Okay, let's see, what else do I want to say? Hmm. So the kind of, because Lamed represents the heart, of course, it's all about love. And it's all about spiritual love as well as physical love. And the kind of love that 12 represents is not terrestrial, although it is physical. And we'll talk about that in a second. Um, it's not a, the ooey gooey, mushy kind of love. It is the intelligent love, which if you're familiar with the gene keys, this um, sphere of the heart is all about spiritual intelligence. So that's what we're talking about here. It is, um, it's the kind of love that's penetrating, wise, conscious, it's awake, love has been awakened. Um, it can see beyond appearances and concepts. And of course, it's yes, it's, it's kind and gentle and compassionate but it can also be fierce when needed. Um, if it's met with fierceness, it will return with fierceness. So this kind of love that the 12 represents is an awakened kind of love. The love inside of us must be awakened and that it is now seeing life from the eyes of the absolute, from absolute reality. Um, to realize this kind of love, one must abandon oneself, which means the I has to die. The person, the name that you think you, you, you are has to die completely. Okay, 
So uh, this Hebrew letter Lamed also means to learn, of course, because every time we want to evolve and grow, we, are, we want to learn new things. So it means to learn. But it's not just into intellectual learning. Of course, it's part of the journey. The, the learning th that is meant from this letter is wisdom. What we have learned from our own experiences, from our own descents into hell, and from the experiences of others, how we are to learn from ourselves, but from the wisdom of others. And, um, you know, that this wisdom, this learning helps us to modify our actions in the future. Okay. So what else does Lamed want to tell you today? Um, I will get to the, the physical uh, sexual aspect to, to Lamed because it has a very sexual component. So Lamed is the balance between physical and spiritual, and it's all about the heart. And in regards to sexuality, in the shadowy aspect, this can mean that sex is used as a distraction for pleasure, for release, for all the wrong reasons. And you may even be using uh, the excuse of tantric sex or going for tantric sex and just getting all these things confused. So not using the sexual act for the right reasons and the heart isn't leading, leading in, this, um, in this arena, okay? So if you see 12 coming up in your life, what is the 12 trying to tell you? In the shadowy aspect, of course, like we just said, it's the imbalance between your physical and your spiritual life. Maybe you're, you're meditating too much. Maybe you're isolated too much. You're not communing with the world. You know, you're, you're living on the mountaintop. So that would be a, another indication of that 12 is uh, out of balance. Um, or just the opposite, being too physical and not enough meditation or not enough contemplations of the heart. Let's see, in the shadowy aspect, the 12 can manifest blocks to learning or, or in any areas of trying to expand yourself. Something keeps getting in the way and you can't learn. You try to perhaps work out, try to better yourself physically and you keep getting stumbling blocks. It may be because there's a balance, you're not listening to your heart, something's off. Um, surprisingly enough, um, when out of balance, you can always feel like you're running late. I don't have enough time. And so a 12 and a shadowy 12 can be like always hurrying, hurrying. I'm out of time, feeling out of time. And this is because the ego is still living in the past or, or running into the future. It just, it just isn't a settled energy. Um, when the 12 is out of balance or the heart is out of, out of balance, of course, this affects our ability to give and receive physical love. So there's a lot of self-consciousness. We don't maybe perhaps we have blocks to any kind of sexual intimacy, um, or we, we have too much, too little, not enough. <laughs> All these imbalances with sex comes from Lamed. Um, what else? Let's see, 12, when, okay, so some really ego, egoic manifestations of the 12 are, of course, when we're, we're, we try to, the ego's representation of bettering ourselves is always through uh, false ideas of glamour, image consciousness, um, you know, goals, 12, when 12 is out of balance, it's always trying to show itself off via competition, goals, achievement, work, success. Um, and it likes to do things fast. It's fast. Like, like I don't have enough time. I got a type A personality to the T. <laughs> um, so they're always trying to improve their image, physical appearance, social standing, ego empowerment you know, goals, achievements, competition, and all of those lower mind activities. <clears throat> However, of course, when the 12 is healthy, this is love in action. 
it's heart centered. <clears throat> it's a balance between spirit and physical. There's social harmony, of course. No competition, no need to worry about, you know, anyone else. You're working from the heart. And once again, because the 12 relates to the power to ascend or union with the divine, the rising upwards, this means that you feel compelled to study all things consciousness. Um, you are on the spiritual journey. You have this deep longing in your heart to commune with the divine. And there is no competition. And lovemaking becomes a sacred act rather than for sheer pleasure and release. So this is Lamed, all about heart-centered action and with the heart being in authority. Okay, until next time.